Hey everybody, how you doing? Okay, get yourself a piece of paper and get yourself a pencil and let's have some fun. Um, this is what I want to draw today. I want to teach you how to draw Gus. So this is my model sheet. I sketched it out. I paid very close attention to how to do it. And I think my measurements are pretty correct. They're pretty accurate. So, if you get a piece of paper and pencil, I'll show you what I did. Alright, so, um... Normally we hold our paper in portrait, but for this drawing, I want to do it in landscape. He seems like a very wide character. You know, he's kind of chubby. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a circle. Now there's no frills here. I just got a pencil, a piece of paper, and I'm here in my kitchen. Let me just adjust. As you'll see over my shoulder, there's a little bunny and a little froggy. I'm going to show you how to draw a bunny and a froggy on one of my upcoming videos. Um, all right, so we have our circle, right? Light, simple. All right, we're gonna. This is kind of important. We're gonna turn his head because he's looking up at Cinderella, and he can't believe how beautiful she is. So, there's our three-quarter um, line. It's our vertical line that goes down. All right, I'm sorry. Let me just focus here, and then a horizontal line that comes across. Like that. I was thinking about Cinderella. She's so beautiful. All right. There you go. Now there's a friend of mine out there named Julia who's this amazing princess. And she does voiceover dubs and really great stuff. We have this, right? Right here where the lines intersect, right there. Let's come into the circle a little bit. We're going to come back into the circle a little bit. And that'll be our starting point. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with his nose. Gus's nose. Once we have that line, now he's kind of chubby, so we're going to bring the bottom part of his nose down, and you'll see it's outside the circle. There's my circle. It's just outside. But with that, now we can go ahead and put on. He's got a very round nose. And I'm going to darken these lines because these are part of the actual live art. Everything else was just a guideline. So you notice how that's a little darker. Now that may seem too pointy for you. You gotta trust me on this one. Alright. Now his eyes. Right at the end of this line, right here, but above it, inside this one section, is a very round. It's kind of chubby. He's got kind of fat eyes, really, as far as circles go. And for Disney characters. His are very round. You'll notice now I've kept his eyes inside my original circle. And let me just show you, like that. Here's my original circle, but you'll notice both eyes are inside of it. And let's have him looking up at the princess. He cannot believe how beautiful she is. Like that. And I like to shade in the eyes usually as soon as I get them done. You know, I've done that since I was a kid. My parents told me, we'd buy you coloring books, and you'd go through every page and color in all the eyes. I think they look scary if you don't color them in. I guess. I don't know why I do it. You know, everybody has their own little weird things. I don't know how weird that is, but it's my thing. Let's put some eyebrows right above the eyes. Okay. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. Let's bring a line that kind of bends, but kind of, like, almost kisses the one eye. It comes down on an angle like that. It's a pretty tricky line. Okay, so I did the eyes. I did the eyebrows. But it's this bent line right here. Let me see if I can show you. See, everything's backwards in the camera, so it's a little tough. But that line that the pencil's pointing to, the swooping line up, it starts to shape his head. It's so close to his eye and his eyebrow. If you can get that, we're in good, we're in good shape. And then, very lightly, because this may change, we want to bring his, this is a big swooping line. Remember I told you he's kind of chubby. He's a cute little fat little mouse. So we're going to go almost all the way up to the, to the guideline. And I'm doing it really light, just back and forth. See that shape? Look, I came from the side of the nose. Remember this line came down. Then on the other side of the nose, very lightly, because it may change. It may be too much, it may not be enough, I don't know. 
But what I'm going to do is, now that I have the bottom of his nose, this line at the bottom of his nose, we're going to form his little mouth. And he's like this. He, he can't believe how beautiful she is. And he's so happy that he had a part of it. Helping get her ready for the ball. Julia, if you're out there, your artwork is amazing. Your ideas are fantastic. And you're so talented. My friend Sammy out there, I'm sure she's going to watch this one too. See, like that. So all I did was I just brought like a little, basically like a letter U or a letter C upside down and put like an O right inside. And then, of course, he's got a double chin right there, like that. So I'm kind of happy with that. So if that's the case, then I'm going to go ahead and this just takes a second because you have to go around the whole drone. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to darken his round face. And I'm going to keep it. Commit to it. It's important to commit to things when you like them. You know, don't give up on stuff. Okay, so there we go. It almost looks like Mrs. Potts, doesn't it? All right. Well, Mrs. Potts doesn't have whiskers, so we're going to go ahead and put in some whiskers. So you notice I put two right there. Let's see the mouse. Not all mice have whiskers, but this one does. And then two right there. Okay? Now, the thing about Gus is he's got a hat on and he's got some really cool ears. So, like we did this swooping line to form his face up here, right? We're going to bring a swooping line down on the other side to form the other side of his face. So I'm going to start above the eyebrows. And I'm going to do this really light. I don't want to commit to it just yet. I'm not really sure. But you'll notice if you've drawn with me enough times. You'll see what I'm doing here. Now it almost looks like Cogsworth, too, the clock. You're going to come down. It's an S-curve. And you see the space between this line of his cheek and that? Well, that's where we're going to fit his ear. His ear's going to go in there. So once I get that line from his eye down, this part of his head down, then I can make his ear. And we're going to do that right now. Now his ear's big and round. Oh, that's why we turned our page in landscape. Because it's so big and round. No pointy. No pointy ears. Big and round. Big and round. Pretty simple, basically. Kind of like the letter C. And then that's it. That's his ear. See how far over it comes? Wait, that's her. It's funny how as I turn the page, it looks like he's turning his head a little bit. Okay, so with that done, now we're going to bring up his hat. So I just start with a very light sketch line coming up like that. And I'm just going to, it's very round at the top. And I'm going to bring it over like that really not much to it like that now this part's a little tricky for some people but you can do it I believe in you he's got like tufts of hair let me show you on the finished drawing maybe it'll be a little easier for you to see what I'm heading for see this hair here all this hair see how it's long strokes to come up like that well let's go ahead and we just come up and come back see so I started up and back up and back there's another one all right and you're going to continue that but you're going to bend it up and back up and back so it kind of goes over like that that's pretty good okay now i like this line i'm going to commit to that line i'm going to color his eyebrows and all we're missing now, guys, is an ear, his last ear. Very simple. Come from behind his hair, and we're going to end up, we're going to end up right at the top of his nose, like right around here somewhere. Look, I made a little mark right, right there is where I know I'm going to end up. So I'm going to just bring it from behind his e hair, very light, up, and back down, really simple. So there it is, very light. And then I look at the overall picture. I like that ear. I think I'm going to keep it. So I commit to it. Remember, once you find something you like, you commit to it. Just 
catch light, find your way, and then commit to it. And then I'm just going back and throwing in some lines and making it darker. But there's Gus, and that goes out to Julia, who asked for it as a request. Such a talented girl. I'm going to just sign it now. And there's Gus from Cinderella. My name's Timmy Britt, so I sign my work, T-I-M-B-R-I-T-T. -T. Cross my T's and dot my I's with one one, because that's what year it is. Find a cool way to sign your work. Okay, there you go, guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Bye.